Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be making some gingerbread cookies and this one has been really spiced up. I'm also going to be showing you how to make the royal icing or the frosting. So let's get started. So to my flour I'm adding in nutmeg and ginger. Next goes in some oil spice or pimento berry powder clove and cinnamon powder, salt and baking soda, whisk that together and set it aside. In a separate bowl to my soft butter I'm adding in brown sugar and I'm going to whisk until it's light and fluffy. Next goes in one egg. And some pear essence. If you can't find pear essence, you can use whichever essence you have on hand. Mix that in, and once it's well incorporated, add in molasses. Give it a good mix. You'll see a really dark amber color. Next, we're going to add in our flour mixture and Bring that together to form a dough ball. It's going to be a soft dough ball. Next, transfer this onto plastic wrap. You guys see the consistency? It's a nice medium soft dough ball, not too soft. Wrap it in your plastic wrap and this is going to refrigerate for one hour. After one hour, we'll remove it, dust your surface and start rolling this out to about a quarter of an inch thickness if it starts cracking on the end don't worry about it we'll always bring those ends together to form some more pieces so go ahead and cut out your cookies whatever shape you like next just peel away at the excess dough and keep that dough guys you can bring it back together to form a dough ball and roll it out again and get more cookies take your time gently pick up the cookies and place it on your lined cookie tray I'm using a silicone mat if you don't have one you can use parchment paper these go in my oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes and when they're done you want to allow them to cool down properly by placing them on a wire rack. Allow them to cool down properly before you can frost or ice them. So while they're cooling, let me show you how to make the frosting or the icing. To my bowl, I'm adding in one egg white. If you didn't want to use an egg white, you can use the meringue powder. In goes icing sugar. And if you wanted to whip, clear vanilla goes in next. But if you wanted to whip, your egg with some lemon peel before you add your icing sugar feel free to do that you're going to mix everything and add water a little at a time until it comes together to form a piping consistency it's going to be not too firm it's going to be somewhere between a soft and a medium consistency look at that if you've ever used piping icing before you'll know but just look at the consistency guys if it's too runny it's going to run right off all you have to do is decorate your cookies and allow it to dry and then it's ready to be served i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe make it let me know down below get your kids into the kitchen and involve them in making this my son loved helping me to make this and he enjoyed the cookies so thank you guys so much please continue to stay safe so you can have a happy holiday season bye everyone